What up YouTube? Ed Westergriff coming back with a SGC Grade and Reveal video. Going to be showing off six cards that I got back recently from a group submission that I did with Mike O. I will leave the link down below for the greeting group with JT, Triple Crown 24, and Mike O. So if you want more information on SGC group submissions, check it out. But send in six cards and... Uh, I'm insanely happy with my order, so very, very happy. So let's start off with the first card. Uh, this is from 2018 Tops High Tech. This is an autographed blue, numbered out of 75. Rookie of Walker Bueller. Just really, really pops there with the blue on the black and the tux, but it came back a 9.5 min plus with a 10 auto grade. Uh, got this one from Bob Barf at the Philly show all the way back in, I think it was 2018. So quite a while ago I picked up this card. But nice to get it in the SGC Tux for the collection. Walker Bueller. Uh, this next card here, bought this one off of eBay not too long ago. Uh, this card just looked really, really good to me. And I'm... I'm very happy with the grade it got. Uh, this is from 1987 Panini Smash Hits. This came back a mint nine of the Sex Pistols. So these Panini Smash Hit cards are extremely, extremely condition sensitive from what I have seen. Uh, a lot of them are really off center or they have dinged up corners. Some even have rounded corners from what I saw. So the fact that this came back a mint nine uh, just really, really happy about that. So there's the back. As you can see, the back's a little bit off center, which is probably why this got the nine, because the uh, corners and the edges are pretty sharp. But the Sex Pistols. Looking forward to the pistol show that's supposed to be on FX. That should be coming out soon. Cool looking card. Next, keeping with the Panini Smash Hits, this is from 1987 Panini Smash Hits as well. This is a near mint to mint eight of the Smiths. So my favorite band, wanted to get this slab for the collection. Like this photo in particular because it has the fifth Smith in the center there, Craig Gannon. So pretty cool there. It's the back of the card. Card 146. But just need near mint to mint eight. Next, we got from 2020 Tops Allen and uh, Allen and Ginter Chrome. This is the gold refractor numbered out of 50 of Juan Soto. So bought this at the Philly show for I want to say 50 bucks. So was really hoping for the 10 on this, but it got the 9.5. This was the only card I was slightly disappointed with, but a 9.5 is still really, really good. So it's not really a disappointment, but uh, when I was paying 50, kind of hoping for a gem on this, but oh well. It's going right into the slabbed Soto collection, so it doesn't matter if it was a 10, I'm still keeping it. 9.5. Nice looking card there. Next, thrilled about this one. Uh, this is from 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire. Mentioned this in a previous video. This is the Juan Soto. Came back a SGC 10. Uh, bought this card all the way back in 2020 for four bucks. Uh, have a few others that I might send off for grading. Now that I have a PSA 10 and an SGC 10, but just an awesome looking card. Really pops. So Juan Soto. And the last card here. I think SGC was very, very generous on the graded on this card. This is from 2018 Tops Update. This is the gold rookie debut of Shohei Otani. And it came back a 9.5 min plus. I think SGC was very, very generous on this card. I took this card with me. We're all. 
to the national to try to sell uh, when Otani when Otani Mania was kind of at a fever pitch, and I could not move this card at the national. Um, I want to say about five or six different dealers looked at it, and they all didn't like the condition of the card. Uh, you can see here the two the two top corners have a have quite a bit of white showing. So. I mean, realistically, I thought the card would probably get an 8.5 or a 9. Um, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised with the 9.5. This is not a card I'm keeping. I'm definitely going to move this card. Probably send it off to uh, to JT to put on the uh, eBay store. But uh, <laughs> it pays to get it pays to get the card graded because at the national, I was only looking for $75 for this card raw. And uh, people thought I was crazy and you know last I checked the comps on the 9.5 uh, for this particular card it was a little over 200 so basic cards graded so very 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 cool the Otani so that'll be moving probably pick up a nice Soto with the purchase uh, with the sale of that card but that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your submissions if you're sending out cards. So take care. Have a great one. Peace.